What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited but even though I am excited I'm going to keep this intro nice and short. I just want to say if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. You guys will see what today's video is in just a second but I do deck profiles, combo videos, pack openings, duels, all that kind of stuff. It is on the channel. I upload five days a week. For you guys' entertainment, I really just want to entertain you guys. And hopefully we can hit 10k subscribers soon. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. And with that, let's get into the video. So just before we get into the video, I do want to say this is the deck list that we showed off in yesterday's profile. If you guys want the full details, make sure to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. However, usually on Tuesdays, what I like to do is I like to show off combos from Monday's deck profile. But because this is an OTK deck profile, I thought, why show off combos when I can show off what this deck can really do? So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is getting getting into some duels and showing off what this deck does best. So with that being said, let's get into some duels. All right, so to get into our duel here, it doesn't really matter if we win or lose the rock, paper, scissors or the die roll, it doesn't really matter because our opponent's always gonna wanna go first. We always wanna go second, so it doesn't really matter. Our hand here is actually kind of cracked. I'm not even gonna lie to you. We open the repair plant and the cyber emergency. Oh, we're playing against Noodle. Wait, Torrential, that's kind of scary actually. Oh, please like set four cards. Oh my god, what are we playing against? What? Please make Lightning Storm the best Lightning Storm in the world. But that water statue is actually kind of scary. I'm not going to lie to you, that water statue is actually kind of scary. We actually don't have a normal summon to out it, but... Oh, we have the Imper. We drew into the Imper. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh my god, we're, even, we're just better. We're just better. All right, let's get rid of the back row here. Oh, we win. We win. We activate the Imperm here. Target this. Yeah, there we go. We were going to win that no matter what here because we go core search cyber load fusion because we already have the cyber emergency and repair plan in our hand. We just OTK our opponent actually. It doesn't really matter what we end on because we can go core with cyber infinity um, and then we can just go boom, 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 attack. That was nuts. That was nuts. Okay, see, see what I mean? I, I understand that this wasn't like the most meta of decks, but it's just the fact that it's like you can play through back row and monster negates like it's nothing. Let's let's go into one more because that was kind of quick. Funny enough though, just before we get into our next duel, because I was talking about that last duel being like not the most meta competitive kind of deck. Keep in mind, those are the kind of boards that you would face if you're playing against like Flunderies, right? Because Flunderies is going to end on the same similar board where it's like some back row with an Empin and the Wind Barrier statue. So all you need to do is imperm the Wind Barrier statue and you kind of have the same result right there. That was, I just wanted to show you what kind of hands that our hands can look like, where it's like, look, we have a couple board breaking cards and then we have a core, we have like a cyber emergency or a repair plant. The deck is crazy, it can get crazy. All right, so does it matter here in our next duel if we win or lose this? Okay, we won, but we want to go second regardless. But yeah, even if we have lost, oh my God, Machine Duel Core, Nib Ash, look at these hands. Oh my, they're so good. They're so, oh, he's just passing. Interesting. Okay, well, I mean, here, I mean, I guess we hope this gets ashed, honestly. We just really hope that this gets ashed. Oh my god, it did. Oh my god, it got ashed. Oh my god, it got ashed. That's crazy. Now, it's kind of unfortunate, I won't lie, because we don't get to search Cyberload Fusion, which would have been just OTK off the bat. So here, we actually just have to go into Al Mirage to get this in the graveyard, because we need that in the graveyard right now for Nova. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to make Nova with these two. So we don't actually get to OTK here, unfortunately. Oh, man, if we had the Cyberload, that's so crazy. Or if we had just any other spell card in our hand, but it's fine. I don't think it's the end. It's not the end of the world, but we do make up a good board here, which is not bad. So here, we're going to pitch a Cyber Dragon, something back of the Cyber dragon that we just got rid of off the nova we're gonna make infinity here play it safe it's always better to play it safe right so we're gonna play it safe here we're gonna make infinity we'll activate the infinity enough to just to take the al mirage because al mirage doesn't really matter for us gives them some more attack do you going infinity imperm honestly yeah i'm not even gonna waste the negate on that that's fine sure it's a 21 attack okay i'm not even i'm not even mad about that like sure um we can keep the al mirage i guess to protect it from being destroyed by card effect i mean this is gonna at least provide protection for the infinity we baited out the imperm which i guess is something we'll go main phase two here i don't think i want to go into zeus we have nib and two ash in our hand and we have the infinite negate we're fine we're fine we're fine oh but could you imagine the cyber load oh, that would have been so nice he passed on nothing though him passing on nothing was actually really funny for us because had he okay so we won anyways but had he even summoned a single monster we would have been able to special summon our own cyber dragon and then we could have actually for sure gone for game there last one of the day guys last one of the day we're gonna do here uh we lost doesn't matter we're gonna go second regardless there's no way our opponent's gonna make us go first there you go so this is the nice thing about the deck win or lose the die roll it does not matter you're going second and we open nuts here we open core emergency and galaxy soldier with lightning storm nibiru oh my god oh my Back row matchup, we win. Combo matchup, 
we win and we still win oh my oh my these hands are so crazy these hands are so cra oh. all right he just quit on us he probably didn't open good okay let's go one more let's go one more okay so going to our final match of the day here so we won doesn't really matter but we are gonna go second regardless we opened the cyber load fusion which is really nice Okay, we opened no board breaking cards unfortunately so now we got to rely on oh i mean we're playing against trickstar but uh we do got to rely on these kind of now to break boards oh my god don't open droll reincarnation combo don't open droll reincarnation combo i will cry i will legitimately cry oh well i mean he didn't search reincarnation because this can only search a monster i believe so what is he gonna licorice yeah licorice please don't have droll reincarnation i'm gonna i'm gonna be so sad if they do actually if he has droll reincarnation it's over double summon okay is it summon candina again sure Kenyon is not a once per turn effect. So now we can search reincarnation. Oh no, please don't tell me he has the combo. Okay, you know what? If you lose to a combo like this, you lose to a combo like this. It is what it is, right? Sometimes you can't say nothing, but double set. Oh my god, okay. Anything stay in my face? Oh, he has it. So if he doesn't have droll here, I get to just draw a brand new hand. So I'm kind of thinking of just holding the droplet here. Yeah, I'm not going to use the droplet because I get to draw the same amount that he banishes, right? Do you have the second one? But I have the ash. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, but I drew the ash. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay, but I can't add cards to my hand now. So the Galaxy Soldier play sucks. However, we have Hers Machine too. Yo, what? We went from one cracked hand to another cracked hand. That's crazy. I don't even mind this. I don't even mind this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sure, I'll take the burn. As long as I don't get clapped here, I'll take the burn. We can go... Oh, we lost the Cyberload Fusion. That sucks. But uh, we can go into Seeger and then go into our Infinity afterwards, which is not bad. Can I see... Yeah, we can add back from our graveyard. It doesn't matter because we were gonna activate Rev System on it anyways. Because regardless, I get to summon it. We get to go into a Nova here. Oh, this is a lot of burn damage, but it uh, doesn't really matter, I guess. Activate the Nova. Special summon a cyber dragon from our graveyard so pitch a cyber dragon summon it right back oh we played through reincarnation droll we played through reincarnation droll if that's not nuts i don't know what is uh the nice thing is candina is in attack position so we can just take that thank you very much good sir i appreciate it and then we go into battle phase and then we'll go attack into licorice attack oh we forgot to use the effect oh no we misplayed either we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have otk anyways but we misplayed regardless he's playing with one card we win okay guys don't meet me on the misplay that was completely my bad we would have done more damage either way we win though it wouldn't have it wouldn't have otk him regardless so it wouldn't matter that much what is this let's summon two trickstar tokens uh, okay i feel like if i just negate this if that's what he's activating if i just negate this i feel like i win honestly i don't know i just feel like i win if i negate this he goes this summons liquor or searches or gets licorice back i mean doesn't matter do 200 more burn or 400 burn when i draw doesn't matter you can go with lily bell attack again now because technically a different card for anyone who doesn't play trickstar this technically can be a different card now so it can attack directly and uh oh i just realized though i have the candina under this don't i liquor is attacking the seeger here sure let's just boost its attack oh but he takes no battle damage with this card let's see if we can just troll him now because now he can't actually kill himself with this eh, eh, eh. Oh my god, this is just fun and games now. We're just trolling at this point. But yeah, you guys can see the whole idea while he's doing all this shenanigans. It's just funny. Yeah, you guys can see essentially what this deck wants to do now, right? So yeah, we were just trolling around with him. We definitely misplayed on the uh, on this play here when we didn't activate the effect earlier. But it doesn't really matter. Honestly, we could just do this. Pitch the nib to summon this. We know this is a Lily Bell in his hand. This is what I just want to do this because I guess we can make the Volcasaur activate the Volcasaur. He wants to do burn damage to us. Let's do burn damage back to him. And then we just win right here. So you guys can see what this deck can kind of do. I know we were playing against Trickstar, but we did play through the reincarnation droll combo. That was nuts. Sure, brother. We're going to negate it. Keeping the Candida in the, under the infinity was actually a really good play. I didn't even mean to, but that was a really good play. Sure, I guess. He gets a second reincarnation, summon it back. I still have the Seeger. I haven't used the Seeger effect, so he'll do damage. And we will extend a handshake and win the game. Yeah, that was fun. Cyber Dragon is... Cyber Dragon is good. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know we didn't get to play against anything meta in today's duels. It's kind of just what happens when you play online against random things. However, the more important part is I wanted to show you what the hands of this deck can look like, where this deck can go, and the potential this deck has. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys have any suggestions, by the way, let me know in the comment section down below. That's how we get better together as a community. And that's the goal at the end of the day is for all of us to get better. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.
Get up, get up. 